Hello everyone, Mike Eater Pantonator here with Hearts of Iron 4 Turkey. Okay, the government ideal prerequisites are no longer fulfilled. Interesting. What are the prerequisites for that dude? Huh. Interesting. Anyways, we are uh, gonna continue trying everything. By the way, if I sound a little upset or like confused at things, it's because um, my internet's been down all day, and uh, the only thing I can do is, you know, play hoy. So here we are, recording for our lovely series. And well, if I'm <laughs> if it sounds upset, you all know why. There's the Anschluss. That is uh, exactly what we wanted to know when uh, things were gonna get started. So I think this is gonna be a later entry into the war, like maybe Bulgaria, Romania, and all that. Maybe we have to save the Russians from Barbarossa. We'll see. We shall see. But, um, currently looks like National Spain is going to win their little war over there. And Japan is... getting pushed back? Japan's getting pushed back. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, silly hero he don't. Okay, what are our decisions? Secularism. Turkey declared war on Kurdistan. What? Um. Hello? Hi. Uh, no. All of you go over here. <laughs> Oops. We uh, did something wrong. But we have fast troops, I guess. So you can kind of like go over here. And then just like fast drive over there. And then you can kind of do the same thing from the north. All of you over there. And y'all like blitz for the capital. So, um... Enjoy. We apparently have a war. That's fun. Secularism. You know, keep doing that. Uh, we have some free civilian factories. Which we'll use to... I'll build a civilian factory. And I want a military factory. Okay. Uh, apparently we... Did something wrong and it led to war, so that's fine. Um, how many divisions do you have? Look at this dude! That is one hell of a beard. He looks old. He's a freedom fighter, though. Aha. Uh -huh. 3 to 13 divisions. Alright, we got our grand battle plan. It is 1938, though, so... More of this technology. More of this technology. There we go. Let's, uh... Make this quick, please. Hurry up, fast. Go, Grease Lightning. All of these people. Oh, it appears that uh, they do exist. Where's my third Mountaineer? Yo, where are you? Why are you over there? <laughs> oh no, they're about to get cut off. Ooh. The Kurds are um, being brutal. But that's fine. We will attack. Excellent. Little cavalry charge. Yeah, tanks and all of y'all, like, you can attack too. Like, we're better than them, so, uh, y'all could please move in. That'd be great. Want, lift the ban on the pol other political parties, okay. That's good. Um, we need an election day deal. What is this? This uh, sad bad pack. Okay, let's go with tactical bombers and air doctrine, or naval bombers. Invoke uh, patrol of the seas. Okay, tactical bombers are great because you can use them for close air support, and naval stuff, or anything. That sounds more like Turkey. Build like kind of like what Japan did with the Betty and the Nell. I like that idea. Can we like have some of y'all come through here? Quite frankly, I won't know. Well, that's fine. Help with that. I want to surround troops. I didn't expect to be in war, but uh, we're in war, so that's fine. Hi. Stop. Stop doing this. Can we like go here and cut them off? 
That'd be nice. Hi, cavalry. Um, you didn't have to cut me off. <laughs> yes, this this will be good. An opposing opposition movement begins to form. Turkish political scientists believed it would take weeks for a legitimate opposition movement to begin to form once the ban on political parties was lifted, but they have all been proven wrong. Adnan Menderes has wasted no time in gathering a group of like-minded traditionalists unhappy with the state of religious faith in Turkey under the Kemalists. In the past, when a Turkish political movement has been hijacked by religious fundamentalism, fundamentalist the entire process of transitioning to democracy has been shut down but not this time this time Salal Bayar is determined to beat this movement of fanatics at the polls come election day Menderes and his cabal of fundamentalists have gathered together in what they are calling the traditional group which the CHP has identified as the progenitor to a populist Islamist movement planning to run on a platform of conservatism and traditionalism the traditional group will canvas in the Turkish countryside over the following weeks for the purposes of building a support base, and once they have gathered enough deluded followers, they will no doubt debut their inevitable opposition party. So you lose stability, and uh... So this is a democratic party? That is the opposition? What? March, march, march. Yeah, march, march, march. And then this guy can maybe cut them off. Okay, so we have our little war. They have a little breakthrough here in the south. Hi, right, tanks. Um, tanks come here. Cavalry, come here. All right, so we get our interwar artillery. Get our support weapons. What decisions can we take? Republicanism. Sub Stabil oh yeah, we need stability. Oh lord, our stability is at zero. What? Um, we can't detect a cable signal. Okay, thank you. I know my internet's down. You didn't have to interrupt my Hearts of Iron game. I don't think y'all saw that though. Judging from uh, everything. Oh boy. This is a dark day for the Republic. <laughs> a rally held by Adnan Menderes in the country's hinterland drew crowds comparable to when speeches were given by Mustafa Kemal Ataturk in the heart of Istanbul. Salal Bayar was distraught, by the way, I'm sorry for my Turkish pronunciations, was distraught when hearing the recount of the rally, which went off without a hitch, and where Menderes announced that his official opposition party would be unveiled to the nation very soon. A string of speakers came out, each preaching the importance of religion in everyday life and in politics, and every one of them generally sponsoring an ideology of traditionalist conservatism. Some of the speakers even spoke in endearing terms of the long vanquished Ottoman Sultanate and Caliphatal Menderes um, himself took the stage last and spoke in much more measured terms compared to some of the speakers whose act he was following up. Menderes jovially expounded the virtues of laissez-faire liberalism to his audience and heaped praise upon the Kemalists for all they had done for the nation before undercutting that praise with a great deal of criticism. The attendees left the rally ecstatic and confident of their chances of winning the election. The devotedly Kemalist officer corps have approached the government and in no uncertain terms demanded that CHP do more to curb the rising influence of Menderes his conservative populist movement. A representative of the officer corps stated that the country's officers would never serve a Menderes government and they hinted at taking their own extreme actions should we fail to curb what they see as a fundamental threat to the Kemalist system. So uh, we have no stability or war support, so that's always good. That, that's just a great sign. Um, okay, y'all want to go there? I, I guess that's cool. Um, can you, like, help with this battle? Like, kill him. That'd be great. And then our tanks and our cavalry. What? Oh, they're, they're trying to attack us. Okay, well that's... How did you get encircled? You're supposed to be encircling, not being encircled. Idiots. How about you go here, and then here, and then you go here. Can y'all, like... Take over some of these places, please. Alright, look. Like, you three. 
you three. Where? Oh, no. Oh, boy. We need to delete these orders. Um, all of these other lines. Yeah, no. Don't do that. So you two are on this thing. Y'all need to get over here. Y'all need to come up here. How about you go up there? Traditional group mobilizes rural citizens in bid to increase voter turnout. Adnan Menderes' traditionalists have been out in droves across the nation in a bid to urge religious citizens who feel oppressed by the secular government to go out and vote for their party in the upcoming elections. Reports show that while many of these voters remain skeptical of their chances of beating the Kamalists and have a cynical disposition to democracy in general, the bulk of these those approached have demonstrated enthusiasm towards Menderes and his oppositional movement. Shut it down. Or... Yeah, now let's get some stability. <laughs> I, I'm not too concerned at all of this. Alright, can you, um... Go here. And can y'all go there? 1877 cars for kids. K-A-R-S cars for kids. Alright, they need to pay me now. I, I just, I, I, I'm just advertising for them now. I really need... Alright, let's go here. Let's go there. Alright, so it appears that this Kurdish insurrection is being uh, quelled. What are you doing? No, you attack them. Or not. Yeah, so destroy him. Okay, uh, Nationalist Spain has won this... Oh, against the, um... The Anarchist. Not the whole Spanish Civil War. That's disappointing. I thought they won the whole thing. Well, um... All of you can, uh... Do that. Take over all of your land. Take the van. Alright. Uh, Adnan Menderes has traditionally undertaken a much publicized trip into Turkish Kurds the hand where they have preached reconciliation <laughs> as we're fighting a war and mutual interest when it comes to the state of faith in Turkey today. Citing from religious scriptures, Kurdish tribal leaders have taken the stage with officials from the traditionalist opposition movement and encouraged Kurds to vote for Menderes and his ilk come election day in order to bring Turkey back into the almighty embrace. Yeah, get stability off. Like, that's, that's very important. I'd prefer you to do that. I'd prefer y'all to all go up here. Crush them all. Crush them, make them suffer. I take the capital. Um, the Kurdistan war. Yeah, uh, Kurdistan needs to not, like, be independent. So... Yeah. Y'all gonna, gonna, gonna stop now? I, I ran. I see you. Don't do anything. Stay away. Oh, okay. You can take that. Y'all can take that. You can take that. Hey, we got some fuel. Okay. Um. Bye bye, Kurdistan. Give me my land back. Okay, back to what we wanted to do. You here. Um, I'm more worried about Bulgaria, but whatever. And I'm worried about Italy, so goodbye. Okay. Very nice. No more war with Kurdistan. Speed 4. So, very democratic. Oh. Liberal Democratic Paragon. Hmm. Not aligned. February of 19, whatever. Conspiracy to commit voter fraud in rural regions discovered. Oh boy. <laughs> this is timely. It's, it is a sad day for Turkey's nascent democracy as a plot to rig the future election results so that they favor Adnan Menderes' opposition movement has been uncovered in some of Turkey's most uh, agrestic provinces. The plot involving religious leaders, local administrators, and even state employees has been foiled and the conspirators arrested. No evidence tying Menderes to or his opposition movement to the plot has been found in our investigations, but our reaction will certainly affect their electoral campaign. Base stability not aligned. Curse rebels and increase their intensity. Oh, or just lose stability. Um, obviously we gotta do that one. So, 
Where's Van? Van's like here? Van, yeah. Computing machine, hi. Uh, this is concerning. This whole thing is concerning. I don't like this at all. Tanks, better light tanks. Motorized equipment. What about special forces? Yeah, let's get our special forces thing up. Hmm. What to do? Should we have like Curtis Rebels again? Maybe. Well, at least we know we can beat them, so that's good. Everyone uh, lost a bunch of equipment, which which is just fantastic. The Democrat Party. Eight hours ago, Anna and Menderes triumphantly announced the debut of Turkey's newest and most dangerous opposition party, the Democrat Party. He announced that the Democrat Party intended to topple CHP's monopoly of power and that the country would be steered in a brand new direction, the likes of which he has never been seen before. The three pillars of the party were unveiled to jubilant crowds and Menderes pledging his government would be committed to faith, fatherland, and freedom in that order. More surprising was Menderes' announcement that a DP-led Turkey would be decidedly more interventionist than any other Turkish government since the nation's founding. The announcement was met with fury inside Kamal circles, and Salal Bayar has pledged to his supporters in Istanbul today that even if the election will be harder fought than initially believed, CHP shall emerge from the upcoming elections still governing the governing leaders of the nation. Okay. Gain us some base stability and a bunch of stuff. Sectarian woes. Alright, can y'all like, um, hold our first multi party election? Achieving Attitude Extreme, okay. Uh, is this the non aligned one? We'll just do that. Good stuff. Maybe, maybe we're not going to be able to do anything in World War II. Maybe we are going to be too, um, like, dangerously low on everything. Like, we have no manpower at all. Um, we have, like, rebellious provinces and all of that. Like, we have no air force. We have, how many planes do we have? Like, that many planes. That's decent. You know what? Stop building planes. Build tanks. We need tanks. We also need steel. From Papa Stalin. Oh, it hurts me, but we'll do it. Tungsten and aluminum. Don't worry about that too much. Alright. Okay, so that's 18 minutes. Time in the episode, and I invoke the methods of Mehmed II. We're going to hold our multi party election 5248. Oh boy, this will be interesting. Um, apparently, this guy is there instead of Mr. Ataturk. Can we just like get rid of this? No, we can't. Anyways. Interesting episode. I didn't expect to fight a war with Kurdistan, but we did, and uh, we did all right. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and join us on the Discord server link down below. Special thanks in this episode to my patron, James, for the support, and thanks to all of you for watching. Until the next episode, this is Mikey Derpanzinator, signing out. See you, nerds!